So right away, let's say that I've lost the label. So how can I figure out if this is a concave or convex mirror? Well, okay. It makes it bigger or smaller. Okay, well, if I bring it in close, <laughs> my, my image is upright. And then it gets blurry, and then if I hold it out further, then the image gets upside, upside, upside down. So, okay. so is it concave or convex? Concave. Concave, because if it was convex, the image would always be upright. Okay. So only with you have a concave mirror do you get a situation where you can, where it flips over. Okay. That's what we'll get through next. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here, and so in terms of the path of the photons, so here's my light source, and all this is doing is allowing the light to come through here, and then it's going to hit the mirror, and this is going to be adjustable, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to project that image onto this screen. So right now, I've got a fuzzy four on the screen. Fuzzy so, four what I'm going to do oh, is nice. I can adjust this mirror. So when I adjust this position, I'm actually changing two things. I'm changing the object distance, and I'm also changing the image distance because it's going from here to where this thing is. I'm going to make that thing get projected. So if I pull that out. <coughs> oh, it comes into, oh, is that how a telescope oh, works? Oh, a chair. Okay. Is that why you have to do turn the knobs on a telescope? Yep. That's exactly why. So right now, there's a couple of things about the four. So first off, what do you notice about the four? It's upside down. It's upside down, right? Then it's switched sides. Yes. Okay. And it's also switched sides. What? Okay. Now it's, it's upside down in both directions. Yes. <laughs> so upside down. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So 180. what's happening? is that when this thing is in focus, so that light has come in here, it's hit this point, right? And then we're gonna focus it to this point and that's gonna be its own image. So we've got the three distances we've got from here to here. This is gonna be my object distance. Then I've got my image distance. Now, this particular lens uh, what is it has a focal length of I don't remember what the focal length is. Sorry, it's not written on here. I think it's like 20 centimeters. So your focal length is going to be a function of the lens itself. So don't look at this and go, oh, that's my focal length because that's, what, that's when it's in focus. Your focal length is based upon the property of the mirror itself. So this is also an example of what we call a real image. A real image can be projected onto a screen. So right now, I'm projecting a real image that is inverted. And also notice I've got a pretty big four on my source. I've got a pretty small four here. So my image is smaller than my object. So this would be magnification of less than one. Okay? Got that one. Yep. Okay. All right. So let's move over. On to the next yeah. place. All right. <laughs> okay. Now this is a ten centimeter convex lens. Okay. So convex lens is going to be like this. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is that it's taking that light, because it's a convex lens, and it's going to focus that light and bring that together. So my focal length is fixed. That's the property of the lens. So I've got the distance, this, I've got my object distance, and then I'm going to be talking about my image distance. So if I pull that further out, I get further and further and further out of focus. If I bring this in, they'll reach a point where... This hurts my eyes. It's in focus. It's in focus. Wow. So if I can measure this distance, this then becomes my image distance or my object distance? Image distance. Image distance. This is going to be my object distance. And the focal length isn't going to change because it's the property of the lens. 
Now, but if I move this, okay, if I change my <laughs> object distance, then... That's even smaller. Yeah. So if I keep going like this, move that further and further back... No, no. Whoa. It's going to disappear soon. No. Well, at least it's going to get pretty small. But if I make it closer... Oh! Okay. Witchcraft. That's Liza's line. We're doing the witchcraft. Okay. Thing. Now, it's like a very weird. But if I bring it too far in, I don't get anything. <laughs> but if I take that farther out, there's going to be a point where it comes into focus. Now, when you guys are actually doing this on a lab and you're trying to find this distance, what you want to do is kind of what I just did. You want to start with it further away and bring it in until you think it's in focus, and then bring it past that point and then take it back and see if you can find kind of roughly that same point, okay? Don't base it just on bringing it in or taking it out, make that thing go out. Yes, basically find a point where it's where, where the force the, can be distinguished, but it's at its smallest size, it kind of. That would be the point where it's at most at focus, yes? Because once you get it out, yeah. of, out of focus, it gets bigger yes. in one direction and it becomes blurry in the Yes. Okay. Can the Here's last the last one. one. Now, this is the hardest one to see. Is okay. this one? This is the one that won't, you, you won't be able to see it on the camera. So okay, sorry, off? gang. Sorry, gang. But, but you can leave it on because you'll be, they might be able to see it, but I doubt it. Is it not a real image? No. The... Okay. So, yeah, that, that one, by the way, was also like a real image because we could project it on a screen. So, I've got the number four that I'm going to project with this. And back here, I've got a double concave lens. So, this lens is shaped like this. Now, this is, this is the weirdest one conceptually, and it's the hardest one to see. So, where's my glasses? They're up solid. I left my glasses somewhere. Uh-oh. Is that on your glasses? Oh, I think I know what's going to happen. I might have left them over there. Okay, it doesn't make any difference. You, got, you, you guys have your glasses, you'll be able to see. <laughs> so, what you want to do is get down here and stare over the top of this, and what you'll see is like a floating four about right in there, okay? So, and here's the weird thing about this, is that, so this light is going here, it's hitting the lens, and it's diverging. So, this light is being, is coming out over there on the other side. But what's happening is that some of that light is actually getting internally reflected back. And that's what, a, that's what is allowing us to see, you'll see a small, very small, floating four about right here. You can't see it from the side. So what you've got to do, and I, if I had my glasses, I'd be able to see it, but I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see it. So get down over here and look this way, and you'll see like a really small four about right there. Okay. So you should be able to. Being in the mob. I didn't have my glasses on, so I'm assuming that. Let's see if some of It did this morning. The chair, I can see it. It's beautiful. Oh. It's a beautiful star. Can you see it? Ryan, good. Hello. Cletus, is that you? <laughs> what? Okay, found her. Who's Cletus? The four. Me. No. Four. Wow, I'm just chilling. The air is pretty creepy. You can see it. Actually, give me the camera. I'll see if I can get it. I was gonna try to get it. Okay. Okay. I see something, so we're gonna say that's a four. What? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a target. Dude, these are just I miss my chances. What are you gonna do with that? I really like that here. I have a medical measure. I love this shirt. I'm sorry. I think it's so cool. Anything to say for your beloved no. viewers? No, I don't have. I don't know where my glasses are. <laughs> That's what I have inside. Uh, Imagination. Not you, Ryan. Uh, Alright, guys. Yeah, just look over that kind of focus right in here. And you should see a really yeah, small four. Yeah, it's super it was like the, it was the whole thing. first or second. Like, it was an exhaustion. Got it? Yeah. Right? It was a
Everybody got it? Okay, back we go. Hey. Oh my gosh, you can actually see it. You can see it? <gasps> Mia did it! Yeah. Oh, no, it's gone. Oh, there it is. Do you want me to turn it off? Right there. Oh, it's gone. There it is. I hope you guys saw that, because I don't know if you're going to be able to see that ever again. Dang. Mr. Burkham, I was successful. Rotate yourself. No. One degrees. No. Negative eight degrees. No. <gasps> Rotate yourself one degrees. In that possible <laughs> Rotate yourself one eye. Alright, so what did I do? There's also that screen. Rotate yourself one eye. Yay! I look very happy. First time. What? You say 10 minus x1. Not x1 minus 10. Well, hey, we're 10 minus x1. Alright, I mean, x1 minus 10. Okay. So here's what we've okay, got, what we've gone through. So the other thing that you want to look at is on this one, we said it was an upright image. Is it real or virtual? This, this is back to the, to, the, to the convex mirror. Real or virtual? Real. You, you cannot project an image that's showing on the back side of a mirror onto a screen. Okay, so that's going to be a virtual image. So Four. when you look at it, when you take that mirror, okay, and you hold that up, that, that, that convex side, that that's, you cannot, because of the fact that you're working in the opposite direction of that light, because it's bouncing off and your eyeball is here, I can't project that onto a screen, okay? So that's going to end up as a very kind of the quintessential virtual image. Virtual. Okay. Now... So if it's mirror, it's virtual. Yeah. That was a beautiful sound. Magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake strikes near Jamaica. Great, that's all we need. Holy. Okay. Yeah. Try beautiful and... sound bring a horrible message. Oh yeah, I know. Kind of weird. So not fine it's enough. upright. So here's what you want to look at. I want to figure out what's going to happen to the magnification if I increase the object distance. Okay. So if you look at what's happening mathematically, so I'm not going to change my focal length, okay? Because that's going to be 1 over minus 20. So if I moved that image further back, okay, instead of having that at 40, let's say that I've got that at 60 centimeters. So if I take, some, so somebody take 1 over negative 20 minus 1 over 60 and take the inverse of that, and what do I get as my... SI. Negative 15. Negative 15. Okay? So now, if you look at how you calculate that magnification, which I just had and lost. On what? Okay. For what? For what? So Where's my magnification point? was. Where does it become negative 15? For which one are we doing? So now, what I did is I increased Sorry. my object distance from 40 to 60. Okay? I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what's uh, going to happen to my magnification. Okay. So my magnification now, or now I, I moved it further away. So my image distance now becomes 15. It was 13.3. So if you look at how you're going to calculate that magnification, it was 0.33. And because that came from, how did we do that? Where did it go? How did I manage to lose the calculation of magnification? Oh, you've got it on here. Yeah. So up now I'm going to take 15, well basically, and that's down here. I'm going to take 15 and divide that by, I didn't mean to make you all dizzy about that. So now I'm going to have 15 centimeters divided by 60. 60. And now what's going to happen to my magnification? Yeah, so my magnification is going to... 
peoples. Okay. Okay. So when you look at what's going to happen in terms of a trend, okay, and we'll finish. We'll do the other three tomorrow. Okay. So no homework. No homework tomorrow. Okay. You have no homework tomorrow. So we're going to go. We're going to finish these up. You will have homework tomorrow night, and then we're going to start like two days of lab. Lab on Thursday. Lab on Friday. I'll introduce both of them. Uh, and then like Monday will be a catch-up day, and then we've got, we got basically have like three labs that we have to do kind of back to back to back. And then uh, the test over all of this lean stuff and mirror stuff will be uh, like a week from this Friday. So it's going to take us about 10 days to get through everything. We've been speed running it the entire time. Yeah. Well, not, well not, not speed running. I mean, not going that. Fast. That'll be the end of optics and rays, and then we'll start into electric fields. Yeah. Okay. So, nice. okay. So stop that. Call it good.